Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm examining the aspects of connecting a distance measuring sensor to one of the Arduino analog inputs. This particular sensor is manufactured by Sharp. So looking directly at the front of this you can see two of the distance measuring components there. On the right is a PSD, that's a position sensitive detector and on the left is an infrared emitting diode. Now on the other side is a circuit board and that contains the signal processing circuit for the PSD, the LED driver circuit, there's a voltage regulator, oscillator, and output circuitry. So there's only three wires, there's a red, black, and white and the red wire is the supply voltage anywhere from 4.5 to 5.5 volts and ground and the white wire is the signal wire and that produces a analog voltage that's proportional to the distance measured by the sensor or the distance detected by the sensor so let's take a look at the data sheet real quick And here's the part number. This particular sensor measures anywhere from 10 to 80 centimeters. Let's see, it's got the consumption current, 30 milliamps, and the supply voltage, 4.5 to 5.5 volts. And it's an analog output type. Applications. Touchless switch. Robot cleaner sensor for energy saving amusement equipment hmm. this little block diagram of the circuitry on the board is the output so we can see here an example of the distance measuring characteristics here we have the output voltage versus the distance to reflective object. And you can see here, the closer the object, the greater the output voltage from this distance sensor. So at 10 centimeters, we have maybe 2.3 volts. And out to 80 centimeters, we have about 0.4 volts. So let's look at the simple circuit I have wired up and we'll sort of review how the Arduino measures a voltage on one of its analog inputs. So what I've done here is I have uh, a jumper wire that's going to allow me to change the source of the input voltage that the Arduino is going to measure. And here I just have a 10K potentiometer and I could take this jumper wire and now uh, with the jumper wire here I can vary the voltage from 0 to 5 volts if I put the jumper wire over here uh, the input voltage is now going to be from the distance sensor so the distance sensor again is only three wires the 5 volts and ground and then the white wire uh, has the output voltage that I'm feeding to a0 on the Arduino. So let's start by putting this over on the potentiometer and then uh, this will allow us to take a look exactly at what's going on when the Arduino is measuring an analog input voltage. So if you recall we're going to use analog read to tell the Arduino which pin we're going to use to measure an input voltage and in this case again it's going to be A0. So let me look at let me get the whiteboard real quick and we'll go over briefly uh, how the microcontroller is measuring that voltage. So on this Arduino Uno 
we have an at Mega 328 and on this at Mega 328 chip there's a 10 bit analog to digital converter so we've got the Arduino Uno and then we have that the chip there and on that chip we have an analog to digital converter and it's a 10 bit now what that means at any moment in time it can take an analog voltage and assign a 10 bit binary number to it so if you got time and then this is voltage and you got a voltage that's you know you're measuring at any particular moment in time pick right there we're going to have a 10-bit binary number that is going to describe that voltage or it's going to represent that voltage so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten let's so we got ten right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so at this particular moment in time we could have a binary number one zero one 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 zero one 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 and that represents the voltage at that particular instant in time and if we measure here we'll have a completely different binary number now the maximum input voltage that you can measure with the Arduino is 5 volts so 5 volts will equal one, 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 one. And zero volts will equal zero, 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 zero. Now there's a little more to this because how does the analog to digital converter know at any point in time what that voltage level is and what binary number to assign to it? Uh, if I asked you to measure out a couple of liters or a couple of gallons of a fluid, but you didn't know what a liter or a gallon was, you couldn't do it. But if I gave you a container that was a liter container or a gallon container, you could then give me 10 liters or 10 gallons of whatever liquid I asked for. So the analog to digital converter needs a reference. It needs to know what a unit of something is and the way we do that is with a 5 volt reference there's a 5 volt regulator on the Arduino board and that's what we use for our reference so it takes that 5 volts and it breaks it up into 1024 pieces so let's show that so before the analog to digital converter can start assigning a binary number to an input voltage in this particular case a zero and then give us a digital representation output it has to have a reference so we have a 5 volt regulator on the board and that'll be V ref right so we take that 5 volts so we have that 5 volts for V ref and we split it into 1024 pieces and the reason is 0 to 1023 you can count up to 1023 when you have uh, 2 to the 10 so if you have a binary if you have a, uh, a 10 digit binary number you can count up to 1023 but including 0 you have 1024 
and this equals to 0.00488 volts or 4. Point, approximately we'll round up 4.9 millivolts per division so the analog to digital converter on this at mega uh, 328 can count in increments of 4.9 millivolts that's the resolution so for example we'd have a 10 digit number here that's zero and say the next one we would say that was that one there would be equal to uh, 4.9 millivolts we would assign you know all zeros and then the next one one zero and this would be equal to uh, 9.8 millivolts all the way up to 5 volts so if we're measuring voltage over time this is time and the voltage is varying over time we can discern changes over time of 4.9 millivolts but no smaller now another aspect of the analog to digital converter is the sample rate and in this case I think we can measure 10,000 times per second so then we get more data per second and depending on what we do with that mathematically or programming wise you know if we're looking for an average or something like that we're measuring the voltage at 10,000 times per second uh, but again the resolution we can only measure increments uh, down to 4.9 millivolt change so if we have if we have something that's in between or less than uh, 4.9 millivolts we're not going to be able to measure that change now there is a way to measure smaller changes in voltage what if we reduce the reference voltage if this was 2.5 volts divided by 1024 that would equal 0. 00244 volts so we can measure smaller changes in voltage if we reduce the reference voltage now there is a function called analog reference and it allows you to change the type of reference voltage so if you use this analog reference voltage, uh, the default is going to be 5 volts for a reference. Uh, if, you, if you use internal, it's 1.1 volts for the Arduino Uno. Uh, internal 1V1 you use uh, for the Mega. And internal 2V56 uh, for the Mega. This gives you 1.1 and this gives you 2.56. There's also a type external. And what that lets you do is uh, pin 21 uh, on the Atmega chip is A reference. So A reference is equal to pin 21. And on pin 21, there's an internal resistor, a 32K resistor to ground on the inside of the chip. So on the inside there's a chip, there's a resistor, 32K. So this is pin 21. If you start it, if you attach an outside resistor, you're going to have a voltage divider and it's measuring the voltage at the junction between those two resistors for your reference. So if you would have if you had 2.5 volts and you had a 5k resistor and then you connected that to the internally internal 5k resistor this is where you would measure your reference voltage from this is the reference voltage and if you calculated this is a voltage divider 
you would have roughly 2.2 volts right here. That would be reference voltage internally when you connect uh, a voltage through a resistor to pin 21. So that's another option you have for changing your reference voltage and getting a little bit better resolution um, with your voltage measurements. And the way you would calculate this is it's the 32K all over the 32K plus 5K times your 2.5 volts. And that gives you 2.2 volts. So I have two small sketches here. One's written for the voltage input uh, that varies with the potentiometer and the other one is written for the uh, distance sensor. So let's take a look at the sketch for the potentiometer first. Now remember with the potentiometer we're going to be able to exercise the full range of the analog to digital converter because the reference voltage for the analog to digital converter is 5 volts. So we can measure from 0 to 5 volts and the potentiometer is going to be able to vary the input voltage from 0 to 5 volts. So with those uh, 0 0.0049 volt or 4.9 millivolt increments it's going to be able to assign a binary number to you know that 1024 uh, different levels of voltage that we have available. So first we're declaring a constant integer pot equal to zero so we're measuring our voltage at A0 and we set up our serial port communication so we're going to actually use the serial monitor to look at the voltages and the digital output so here we have integer value equal to analog read we're using the analog read to read the variable pot which we've already said is uh, what we're measuring at A0 now here we're using the map function and what this allows us to do is to measure the val, the analog input, and we're assigning a value from 0 to 1023 to that voltage. And then what this is doing is just rescaling. So if we have 1023, that's 100% of the 5 volts that we're measuring, and we're just going to we're going to remap that from 0 to 100%. So when we're measuring zero voltage, we're at zero percent, and when we're measuring the maximum voltage, uh, of course we get the uh, binary representation of 1023, but we're going to say that that is uh, 100 percent of the voltage that we're able to measure. And then we're just going to ser serial print analog reading. We're going to serial print the raw analog value and then we're going to print uh, the percentage of the voltage that we're measuring at A0. So here I already have my jumper wire on the wiper arm of the 10K potentiometer. So I'll just reload that sketch for the fun of it. Watch the blinking lights. Here it is, it's loaded. And I'll open up the monitor program. So here you can see on the voltmeter I'm able to adjust with the potentiometer the input voltage from zero up to five volts, the full range that the analog to digital converter can measure. So let me start the monitor program, serial monitor program, and you can see there we have the uh, analog reading of zero and the percentage of the total voltage that we can measure is zero. So if I increase that, we have the raw digital representation of the voltage and we have the percentage. So when we're at five volts, we're measuring 100% of the voltage and that equals to 1023. So I slowly decrease this 
you can see the the binary representation of the voltage is decreasing and those steps are 9.4 millivolt uh, increments in digital representation where each of those digital increments represents a change of 4.9 volts now if I move this jumper wire to the output of the distance sensor and then let's take a look at the monitor program now if I take the sensor and I point it to the wall or to the laptop we can see the readings here now I have it about four inches off of the table Let's see what type of reading we can get. So remember the, the maximum voltage output on this is when it's uh, the distance is the closest or the object that uh, is the closest to the sensor. So you can see here that maximum we can't go to 1023 because the maximum voltage out of this at about uh, 10 centimeters is 2.2 volts. So we're not maximizing the full capability uh, because of our reference voltage. So if we could change that reference voltage, we could utilize uh, the full 1,024 steps that we have available with the 10-bit analog to digital converter. So this is going to be inefficient. And if I go farther away, I can't even get to zero. I can get maybe down to, let's see, 42. That was the lowest, so about 5%. I can't, I can't get down to zero or zero percent. So we have to change the program a little bit instead of changing the reference, which you can do also. But let me show you what I do with the program or the sketch. So you can see here, using the map function, uh, I've changed this from 50 to 400. And then uh, I'm rescaling it. This is the inverse, remember, so 80 to 10. Now you can get a little bit more involved with cal trying to calibrate this and then uh, more complex programming. But I just took, you know, one of the lowest numbers, 50, and one of the highest numbers, 400. And then I'm rescaling that to the 80 and the 10 centimeters. Remember, this is reversed. You're going to, you're going to get your highest uh, number, the 400, at 10 centimeters, and the lowest number, 50, at your 80 centimeters. So this is rescaling it. So this is the raw. It's measuring the raw analog reading, and then I'm converting that into the centimeter reading, which is pretty neat with this function. I didn't know you could just change these numbers so you don't utilize you're just wasting with the 5 volt reference you're not going to get a measurement uh, higher or up to the 1023 so it's a waste uh, in this particular instance it would help to lower your reference so if we if we use the external uh, pin 21 and use the external reference and got it down to 2.2 volts we would then utilize the full uh, 1024 increments that we have at our disposal with this 10-bit analog to digital converter but in this case I'm just using uh, this map function here and uh, the maximum and the minimum values that you get with this uh, distance sensor and then remapping that into centimeters so let's take a look at the monitor program with the distance sensor. So I've loaded the sketch and here's the distance sensor. And let's look at the serial monitor program. And there it is. You can see that it's it has the raw data and then it's it's not perfect. It gives you negative numbers. So I could put, you know, objects on a table 
at uh, 10 centimeters and at 80 centimeters and then more accurately record these minimum and maximum and then put that in the program but for the most part it's it's measuring accurately here it's you know measuring uh, I got it pointed at the wall I have 77 69 centimeters and if I have it four inches off the table it's a little, I have some negative numbers there, there, but there I have seven, two centimeters, ten centimeters. There it is, about four inches off the table. I, I have about ten centimeters. It's not perfect. You you can you can you know write a more complex sketch to 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 resolve that. And also, you know, the best thing to do is to change your reference voltage. So here you can see the range of voltage output from this distance sensor. Let's see if I got about four inches off the table, got 2.3 volts. And then if I point it toward the wall, it's down to about 0.3 volts. So that's how you can hook up this particular sharp distance sensor with an analog output to the analog input of the Arduino and a little explanation uh, how the Arduino goes about uh, using the analog to digital converter to convert your analog signal into a digital representation and some of the limitations and uh, some of the things that uh, you can take into consideration on how to improve your resolution uh, you can some of the options for changing your reference voltage to help improve your resolution so you can measure smaller uh, voltage changes uh, in this particular case, uh, this the voltage output is about 3.3 volts for this uh, sharp distance sensor, and your V reference for your ADC is 5 volts, so you're uh, not using uh, the full range because of the higher reference voltage as opposed to the lower output from this sensor. So I hope you found this video interesting. Uh, please subscribe and or comment or like, and uh, thanks for watching.